welcome to the practice problems video for the section on composition of functions. Okay, problem number one tells us, um, given each pair of functions, f of x and g of x, calculate f of g of 0 and g of f of 0. Okay, so let's start with the first one. We're going to do f of g of 0. So the first thing we have to evaluate is the inner function, right? At the, at the given input or initial input value of 0, okay? So um, all we have to figure out is what is g of 0. It's kind of like go, right? So g of 0, we're just going to use our formula for g of x. So that would be 7 minus 0 squared, which simply gives us a 7, okay? So now that we know g of 0 is equal to 7, we can just plug in a 7 in place of this confusing like g of 0, right? So now we get that our actual problem is f of 7, okay? And the way we just figure this out is just plugging in 7 for the, for the formula for f of x, okay? So this would give us 4, sorry, a 4 times a 7, and then plus an 8, which gives us 28 plus an 8, which gives 36 as our answer. Okay, so 36 is equal to f of g of 0. Alrighty, so there's the first part, and now we'll just do the second part, which is g of f of 0, okay? Alrighty, so in order to figure this out, we have, again, an initial input of 0, but this time the functions are swapped, are kind of like swapped, right? Our inner function is now f, and our outer function is g. So what we have to do first is plug in 0 into f. So when we do that, we get 4 times 0 plus 8. So this goes to 0, and we get f of 0 is equal to 8, okay? And now that we know f of 0 is equal to 8, we can replace this confusing thing on the inside with an 8, okay? So now we get g of 8 is equal to what? And now we're going to plug in this 8 into our g of x function up there, which gives us 7 minus 8 squared, okay? So 7 minus a 64, which uh, turns out to be a negative 57, okay? And this is equal to g of f of 0. All right? And that just goes to show also, because um, as you'll notice, for each of these, for each of these parts um, that we just did, our initial input was zero, right? So you'd think, well, I mean, you're dealing with the same two functions and you're dealing with the same input value, so it should be the same, right? And as the evidence shows, we didn't get the same answer, right? So that just shows you the way that you compose your functions, uh, meaning like the order in which you put your functions, your two functions like f and g, it depends like which one is the inner function and which one's the outer one, okay? So that the order does matter, all right?